Warning, do not attempt the toy destruction that you see in this video. Leave this sort of crazy work to the professionals. Shopkins, Shopkins, Shopkins. Who ever thought that was going to be a flash in the pan? Up on my review table here, obviously there's a whole ton of Shopkins toys. This toy has evolved, there's all sorts of different Shopkins rounds these days. But there's also something a little bit sinister going on. Anything that's popular, we all know what's going to happen, don't we? The dark side comes in and starts to clone and copy the toy and basically try to make money out of something that's super popular. So in that sweep on the table there, did you spot the knockoff? Some of you may have spotted it, some might have said, Lord, there's a colour of one's a bit strange there. Well, you're right, the knockoff is actually over there. It's in the middle of screen right now, and if I put my arm in there, this one here is the knockoff Shopkins. And when we take a look at this knockoff here, we're going to get a bit of a surprise of how much work they've gone to to make it look just like the real Shopkins toys. Well, it might be prudent to get a couple of examples of real toys here and we can have a discussion about what's going on here and especially the strange pricing they've done with the knockoff. Well here's a look at Series 1 Shopkins. It's like a trip back in time. My son loved this toy right from the start. That's a 12 pack there and there's $15 is what I paid for it. Either picked it up in Target or Kmart. Ah, oh, the memory's looking at that. Below it is a Season 4, and when I found a knockoff one, we're actually into Season 4 of the Shopkins. Uh, many people said it wasn't a lot go past Series 1. Uh, it's got a bit of a different thing going on. It's got like a display case for your Shopkins there. And what was a bit curious about this one was the price had actually come down. You're only paying $10 uh, for a 12-pack there. I'm curious that the price went down and then this is a series 2 but it's only a 5 pack now I've got this one here because the knockoff has tried to emulate what's going on here in series 2 well there's a series 2 or season 2 up against the knockoff which is the larger box uh, they've really tried to emulate that rear artwork that is that pink bag which is on the card there uh, this is a sort of knockoff that's very sinister because there's going to be some people who are not going to see it as a knockoff unless you know exactly where to look and exactly what you're looking at. I think the shopping bags, they're wrong for the fact that they say shop and they are just too bright a colour. I don't know about the basket there. The basket says Shopkins, but we'll take a close look at that and we'll take a close look at the small toys as well. On the back here, the deception just continues on. It is very, very similar to what Shopkins have in the back of their boxes. And as we go down, we start to see details of the series there. Whether you get all that in the knockoff is another thing, and you can see how much I paid for this $5. I'll just do some close-ups of what's written here. Maybe you'll see some anomalies going on, but I think they've gone to lots of effort here to make it look exactly like Shopkins Boxing. Let me just throw to some footage of where I purchased these toys. It was in a bit of a pop-up shop just prior to Christmas, because that's the time to hit. And I'm pretty sure that there'd be some people who would be easily fooled by these knockoff fake Shopkins toys. Yes, this is very clever and deceptive uh, styles of knockoff toys. Uh, I'm sure there'll be people who'll buy this and they would never have realised that it's fake. Let me show you some of the other ones that I've come across which are very deceptive. Remember the trash pack knockoff toys? Well, the trashies are actually related to Shopkins, but that might be a bit of a secret. It presented amazing. It was weird that it had the different coloured drums. I have done a dedicated video to this, but I think on the back, uh, that looked all real, but when you see something like that, once the alarm bell starts to ring. Down here is a Minecraft toy. This is very, very similar to the real toy. In fact, one of the most similar I've seen. Once again, people will get confused when they see that at a good price. And maybe on the back it starts to fall apart a bit. But the front presentation of that one is uh, quite surprising. And then, then there's this one here. It's a Transformer toy. And this was one that was actually sold to me as a real McCoy toy. And I tell you what, there's things on here which would make you think, okay, this is real. Of course, we can see Hasbro there. We can see authentic Transformers symbols there. If we spin it over, we'll see more authentic symbols there and Apple Store and all the rest of it. But in the end, no matter how good this looks here, this is actually a very, very clever dark side toy. It's a knockoff, it's a clone, it's rubbish. I've actually bought three of these knockoff shop things. I'm pretty sure what's inside each of these is identical. Maybe it's time to crack this open and see what's going on inside. Okay, I'll open it up here and of course there is that thing that when you're popular, uh, there's a very, very good chance you're going to get ripped off, knocked off. 
because it is easy money for people to make these clone toys and they are riding on the fact that they're out to deceive you and trick you by what you're seeing in a very clever packaging oh a bit of a shopping list here or something like a shopping list which says series one that's weird isn't it okay uh we'll take a bit of a look at that next but we'll get the toys out of here yeah, I'm just bounce on the floor, I have to go and dig for them. I hope I've got them all. I think there's ten little Shopkins there. Uh, there's four bags, and there's one shopping basket, I'll call it. Uh, yes, very weird. I've just gone and raided my son's room to grab some of his Shopkins. Oh, I think that's from Series 1, that colour. That's the real bag and shopping basket. That one is from Series 2 and there's a whole bunch of Shopkins in there, real ones, that will make some hard up comparisons to with the knockoffs. Well that's the knockoff packaging, remember it said Season 2 there, well the shopping list inside this, it says Series 1, uh, welcome to the dark side, this is how this looks, you know it presents pretty well, it's nice and bright, it doesn't look too uh, knockoffish if you ask me, I think that's the same as what we saw on the back of the packet. Uh, but there'd be a lot of people who would be fooled by seeing that. Okay, as for the shopping bags, that purple one there is a real one. That's from Series 2. Uh, the box on this one said Series 2, or should I say Season 2. I keep saying the wrong thing, don't I? But what's missing is the word Shopkins. It just says shop. But the actual feel of these, it's identical. Um, same sort of plastic. Uh, the thing that you can really tell, or well, the only thing you can really tell, is the fact that it just says shop and not Shopkins. And one says moose underneath there, the real McCoy one says moose, so the people who are behind the toy, the knockoff says nothing. Um, but, you know, as for a feel, identical. As for the shopping baskets, the one that I'm shaking there is a real McCoy one, it says Shopkins on it. It also says moose, copyright moose in China underneath there. It's got little handles on it, I think that was from series two, or should I say season two. The knockoff is coming along here. It's a pretty good knockoff, isn't it? It feels exactly the same. The handles play the same. There's no copyright moose underneath. That's what's missing. But overall, they've done a pretty good job of knocking off the little basket here. Um, yeah, it's basically identical. If you look at it on the non Shopkins side, it's a complete rip, isn't it? They're identical. Rather sad to see. Rather sad to see. As for our little Shopkins friends, I'll just drag the camera along here, you can take a look at them. We've got a double up of style there, two, two, two different colours going on, it looks like, are they hamburgers? You can tell me. Uh, but the real tragedy is about to unveil, and we've basically got three of the same Shopkins there. Welcome to the dark side. Now I wonder if in my son's box of Shopkins here, do I have any of the ones that we've got in the knockoff? I think that's one, we'll make a comparison of that one there. I'll have to find some more. I've found three to make hard up comparisons with, and I think that's probably enough. Okay, two little bars of soap, but only one is a real one. You should know the one from the other by now, because you've already been exposed to these. The one that I'm trying to squeeze there is a real one. They're actually quite firm, uh, real Shopkins. If I squeeze the knockoff one there, look at that. It's like a squinky or a trash pack, it just wants to bend over. Uh, they've done the artwork pretty good. The eyes look very similar. The mouth's a bit sloppy on the knockoff. Okay, the suds on top. It's a bit sloppier the way they've painted the knockoff as well. If we spin around, you'll see one says Moose China. The other one has got a blank backside. Okay, that was the little bars of soap. Oh, don't kiss guys. Naughty, naughty. Okay, uh, I think this is a pumpkin. I think. Okay, the real one is that one I'm trying to squish there. That green one. The knockoff uh, squinks and squashes, it's a totally different animal. The artwork is very similar. The finish on the knockoff is a bit rougher. You can see it's got lines on it, this other one doesn't present. They've both got little arms, they've both got little feet, but the real one says Moose China, the knockoff says nothing. I mean, they are very similar, but the big difference is, is the material it's made in. The knockoffs here are more like squinkies. Look at them go. Okay, as for this thing here, I've got no idea what it is. I don't know, it's got something with a thing on top there. That real one there that I'm shaking, has got nice and glitter on it. Would have been a, a bit of a more special one. It says moose underneath, it doesn't squink, although it is soft, it just doesn't squink up. The knockoff here, well, it squinks. 
it's got no copyright on it and it, it just doesn't look that awesome to me mind you there were three of them in the packet so you could you know i suppose three is awesome isn't it but nevertheless it gives you a bit of a close-up of the knockoff versus the real so I wonder who's been confused and mixed up when they've seen the knockoff thinking it was the real deal. I know there were people buying this stuff. I sort of stood there and watched it being sold. And it comes down to the fact this is actually a very simple toy. It'd be very easy to knock off the real little toys to get the fake ones. The same with the bags there. And it's absolutely no trouble at all to knock off this paperwork like this or packaging like that. Now I'm sort of wondering how am I going to give these guys a big send off? Well, maybe I'll use the old Kmart blender that I haven't destroyed yet. One of the real cheapies that I've purchased. I think it still works. Yeah. Okay, let me get the lid off and I can throw those guys in. Put the bags in first. And in with the Shopkins and the basket. Now, I'm not sure how much damage those blades will inflict because that sort of soft plasticky stuff can be difficult to destroy. But you never, never know till you give it a go. Okay, what's the thing? Once you shop, you can't stop. And away it goes! I'm going to run high speed now! And I don't think much is happening in there! Didn't sound very good, did it? Neither did that. smoke coming out of that blender it's very very sad I think the blender's dead I think that blender is dead This blender has just stopped. I think inside most, most of that survived, but we'll take a look. And there's sort of smoke coming out of the blender. It's making the uh, strangest sound. Never heard a blender do that before. Well, I'll come and turn the GoPro off, and I will come down and turn this blender off, which I think has failed in there somewhere. Yeah, the R. That was a very strange blend indeed. Now, I gave it a really long blend. I have to go back on the video and exactly time it. It's well over a minute. It would have been cracking into maybe two minutes. Open it up there. Sometimes there'll be smoke, but it has been a bit of time because of that motor failed on this thing. And we'll do the poor shot. Okay, here we go. Mmm, knock off Shopkins. <laughs> Don't breathe too much of that. Well, this was a very, very inexpensive blender. It did take some time to get the blend going. Where it's failed is in a place that I'm not surprised about. That is the drive up to the blades. Uh, that's just a great big rubber thing that is basically well, melded onto that 
piece of metal there which goes down into the motor and it started to spin and that's what the smoke was okay so you can see it's all gone globby in there this is all soft and hot because of the friction um, I think this is the worst style of design but hey uh, buy cheap buy twice there's lessons in that and you don't find that sort of design on the high-tech high-end blenders mind you this isn't designed uh, for blending up things like that I must say that in this video so let's take a look at the damage report here. The first thing I'll take a look at is this shopping basket. Okay, well this may come as a surprise or no surprise. The basket, to me, looks totally unscathed. Maybe you can see some damage on it. Or maybe there's a touch of damage on the bottom there. Uh, it's in remarkable condition considering the environment it has just come out of. Um, that is a dark side miracle if ever I've seen one. Uh, we'll take a look at the shopping bags next. I don't think they uh, had as much fun as the basket. Okay, well this is the least damaged one. It must be some strange thing that goes on when I do this, that some things get you know, in a survival area and other things don't. Things bounce around the top and others don't. That's the next one, which is the worst off. And then we get into some more damage. Okay, that's pretty well ripped up, lost its handles and lost a side. And then there was one which I think has been totally annihilated, apart from these larger pieces here. Uh, the rest of that bag is just crumb. And speaking of that crumb, there it is there. That pink is the rest of that shopping bag. And the other things there which have all broken up are the knockoff Dark Side Shopkins. Uh, some look seem like they're okay until you turn around and they're missing a mouth. Uh, all of them have got some substantial damage. I was quite surprised these guys got chopped up the way they did because quite often this squinky sort of material just basically bounces off the blades. Um, the basket survived, but uh, these guys didn't. Uh, these guys would have major, major headaches going on right now, but hey, they're knockoffs, so they deserve it. And there's a bit of an art shot for you. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Pretty awful, if you ask me. Uh, let me just take you on a bit of a shopping journey. Let me show you how the real Shopkins toys are displayed in store, because this toy got massive. It started off small, like they always do, and then by, by about the second series, and especially into the third, there started to be a ton of variety in Shopkins toys. And I mean variety. Uh, it even knocked me out to see how many different variations there were to this quite amazing toy. Uh, I know some people said when I put up those first videos showing this toy, they said, Leo, this is going to work. And some other people said, Leo, it's not going to work. Well, I can tell you what, this has been an incredible success story. Really sad to see it being knocked off in the way it's been knocked off. Well, I hope you learned something about this toy, the knockoff one in this video. Be very careful if you're in the wrong sort of places to buy these. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.